Hi all, today we'll be doing a little video tutorial on how to install and set up the Room EQ Wizard. We'll be doing everything from microphone placement, setup, software install setup, and then taking a basic reading of your room using your front, left, and right speakers, and then getting the necessary information to be sent off to the custom installation team to basically dissect that information and work out what's going on with the room's EQ settings and how we can improve on that. So without further ado, let's jump into it. I'm going to be setting up the microphone. I will be using the XTZ microphone, although if you have an Anthem or an Arcam AV receiver in your demo room, you could use one of their microphones. This is the Anthem Arc microphone, and if you look over there, it has a little position which tells you that it needs to point towards the front of the room. So when using one of those, just make sure you have that in the right direction. I have a little microphone stand here, which I will use to position the mic. We would like to position this in your main uh, listening point. So I'll pop the microphone in, set it up over there in the center listening point, and you would like that microphone to be at roughly ear height. So I like to just come and sit next to it, get a good positioning, and that should be about it. Just position it there, and there we go. Microphone is set up. Then plug the other side into the computer and start up the Room EQ Wizard software. Right, now that we've got the microphone in position and connected up to the computer, we need to install the Room EQ Wizard software. To do this, we're going to go to Chrome or whichever web browser you use. We're going to search Room EQ Wizard and that's auto filled. Select that and choose the top one there. This will take us directly to the download page. So click on Windows 64 bit installer and that will start downloading it. Right, fantastic, that is completed. So just click on that file, let it open up, and we'll start preparing the installer. Just go yes if it brings up that prompt. And it is asking me to upgrade the existing installation because I already have a copy of it installed. You probably won't get this option, so just carry on next. Accept the agreement, mm, yes. By default, this will be set to one gig, although you can change it to 1.5 to give you a little bit of extra headroom. Go next. We don't want to allow multiple instances, so leave that. Yes, we do want to use hardware graphics acceleration, so keep that checked. Go next again, create a desktop icon. It doesn't matter, but you can do it. And there we go, that's now installed in the software. Right, and now we want to run Room EQ Wizard. So click finished and then we'll start up the software. Right, so at this stage, we want the USB microphone to be plugged into the computer and be recognized. We would also like an HDMI cable to be plugged into the computer and directly into one of the inputs of the AV receiver. Then obviously turn everything on, get it all so the TV can see it's showing the picture of the computer as well. You would like to make sure that that input is set to stereo rather than Dolby surround or any sort of processing. And you also want to make sure that any room pro, uh, processing done by the amplifier is switched off. You just basically want a raw stereo signal. So potentially setting it to direct would be a good option as well. From here, you want to go to preferences. You want to make sure you have it selected. On the output device, you want to look for your AV receiver, mine is AVM70, and then master volume, and you've got left and right. Under the input device, you want to choose your microphone, so there we go, your USB mic, and then if you come across to the cal files, down here is where you can input a calibration file for your microphone if it does have one. I'm not entirely sure if the Anthem or the Arcam have ones that you can download, but you can check with the manufacturer's website. Because I'm using the XTZ, I know it does have one, so I've got that and I've got the file loaded up already. This has got the 90 degree option because the microphone is pointing straight up towards the ceiling rather than directly towards the speaker. Right, once we've done that, let's go to our SPL and just double check. So, yep, yeah, that's there. We would like to get the level to 75 decibel reference level. So, once you've opened up SPL, open up generator and then select your channel you've got your left or your right 
I'm going to choose right at the minute because I want the speaker to be slightly further away from me so you can still hear me talking. It will create a noise now when I click start. Right, let's just make sure that the, there we go, yeah, so we want to up the volume until the decibels reach 75. There you go, that's good enough for me. I'm just going to test the left channel quickly just to make sure they're both in line so it will get a little noisy. Perfect. Right, I'm happy with that. So if we close that, we'll close that as well. First thing you want to do is go to measure. And that's fine. You can calibrate it, which does go a little bit more in depth, but for now we just want to get a base reading. So continue anyway. From here, you want to keep it as it's set over there. Um, but on the output, you want to just go through each of the speakers. So from there, click start. Okay, and there we go, we've created one file for your left speaker, so I'll just name that left, and then go measure again. This time we'll change the output to right, and we'll run that file. Fantastic, we will name that one right. And there we go, we've got both readings of the speakers. Um, at this point, we're not going to go in depth of what these readings mean or how to get all the little bits. We simply want you to save all, choose, just put in your store name. So, oh, if I could type, Lester, there we go. Okay, and now it's going to ask you to actually save the file as an MDAT. So again, Lester, measurement and then choose where it is you want to save it whether it's to the desktop or to documents that does not really matter once you save that um, if you could then please email that uh, file over to custom installations at richersounds.com and uh, one of the guys will have a look at that and basically get the information from it thank you